When they abandoned their site, the Cahokians splintered into tribal groups and their old community structures were broken. The Europeans arrived on the American continent about a hundred years after Cahokia's decline. The devastating effects of the diseases they brought with them and of the often brutal colonization make tracing Cahokia's direct descendants even harder. No one can ever be certain what happened to them. Yet many Native American tribes still trace their heritage to Cahokia. Joe Watkins' tribe, the Choctaw, has its geographical roots in the Mississippi River Valley. Quite a few Choctaw, quite a few Southeastern Indians believe that Cahokia could have been the grand homeland, the place from where we all came before we were differentiated tribes. It's like the way the Palestinians view the Holy Land, that it's where we started, where our genesis began. This group of Choctaw dancers still acknowledges the four directions, the basis for Cahokia's layout, performing each dance four times. The dancers wear sashes featuring the spiral and scroll found on Cahokia's artifacts and still embroidered by Choctaw women. Similar sashes are also worn today by the drummers who accompany stickball, a game thought to be over 500 years old. Stickball may have been one of the games played at Cahokia.